Hello, good evening. It's me, Rizu Gaming. How are you all doing tonight? <laughs> I'm a little bit late. I uh, was having dinner, but uh, yeah, I'm doing well. Hi, Neo. We're we doing well. Uh, let's just get back into the game. Don't really want to hang around too much at the start. So, what are we going to do today? Let's see. So, we'll unpause. Everyone will get infected by hypothermia. I wonder when they're going to fix that bug. First thing I'm going to do is probably just dig out this area and fill it with back walls so that we stop losing gases to this. And then we can incorporate this whole area as part of our base. I think that's what I'm going to start doing today. Yes, everyone gets a nice bounty castle beds. We need to get a decorator over here as well. And dupes do have skill points they need to pick up. So let's give people decorating if they are interested in it. Well, I mean, I might give people decorating even if they're not interested in it at this point. Uh, maybe we'll just send a decorator over. That might be a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. I want to get these guys skilled up. Uh, you, it's not really that relevant for. I can't believe we got Silly Device to name one of our dupes Dot. That's what I'm going to call them. I'm going to call them Dot. Right, uh... You know what? Let's do a day first. No pickle the skills on the other planet. Who's suffocating? Who's suffocating already? Dot is suffocating. Perfect. Uh, that's because they've tried to dig out this fire pole without having a ladder built. Oh, that's bad. Uh... I think you can make it out. Yeah, wow, there's really no oxygen down here. Are we really going to have a death right at the start? That would be uh, unfortunate. Yeah, you're really slow. Where's your breath meter? You don't even have a breath meter. That's concerning. Uh, right, okay, hold, hold the phone, hold the phone. First things first. We need to get more oxygen in here. Uh, so let's actually priority one all of this. Do not worry about that for now. Wouldn't that just be perfect? No! I mean, we're not playing by max rules where if a dupe dies, then we restart. But, oh god, what are they doing? Stop! Look, stop going to build the fire pole. I demand it. Come back. Come on, guys. You're still suffocating. Okay, now you're breathing again. Okay, that's good. Dupes are scaring me. Uh, yeah, this is a huge CO2 pit. I mean... Uh, yes, we'll need to get some oxygen down here. Let's just dig this out first. We'll turn these back on. Seems appropriate at this point. And we'll speed up just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, focus on digging all of this stuff out first. And then the other thing to do is we want to make some bathrooms. I'm going to put the bathrooms here. So what we'll do is we'll have two bathrooms here. We'll have the shower here. And then we'll have the sieve, the sieve here. And I may just bring the insulated wall here. We can have some plants that we run off the polluted water, maybe. Bring it down here for now. Get these bathrooms built here first, so they're at least in the new base. Get these tiles built. And then we can plug them into this water here. So let's actually just build the... build a pump. Oh, a liquid pump. And go here. And then... I won't bother pausing while we're doing any of this. Showers can go here. In our lamp. Put all of our usual gubbings. And we'll do that up here as well. It's all good. Oh, 
And then plumbing wise we'll do... This is going to be one way, so I may as well just have the sinks here and the bathrooms here. I don't think it really makes... Does that make a difference? No. Uh, to make it a plumbed washroom, you need at least one toilet and one wash station, so we will do one of each. I guess we don't actually need to make it two different rooms, do we? Yeah, let's not bother making it two different rooms. There's not really much point. There's also not really much point in actually separating this off here, now that I think about it. We can just put a metal statue here. Gold. I love gold. Also, I should be making this all out of gold ore when I can. So we've got loads of gold ore. Just immediately done the thing I said not to do. Yep, there we go. And build uh, all these wires as well. You can go like this, I guess. We'll connect everything up here because eventually we'll have transformers somewhere. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is for space reasons, and I don't mean space as in the bio, I mean as in physical space in the asteroid. We're going to have the base here. I might just stack all the transformers over here and dry roll it in. Assert dominance over space. I don't know. I'll have a think about that. Yeah, lavatory can be made of gold. In fact, what I can even do is I can actually, I could actually, instead of doing that, I could have the hydroponics farm here. We can just have a thimble reed because we actually have reed uh, seeds. We do. Where are they? Yeah, we do have thimble reed seeds here. Um, so we can plant one of those here. I should know that we've, we've already done this on the last one. We've actually replanted a thimble reed here. So yeah, we definitely have at least one thimble reed. Um, so that can go there. The sieve will go here. We'll want the intake to be over here so that we can just hook it up there quite easily. And then I could actually fit in... I could fit in another two showers here. Let's do that. It's very slightly triggering, but it's alright. Actually, you know what? Instead of... Hold on. We'll make this look slightly prettier. <laughs> you know, because that's the important thing to do. Make it all pretty and symmetrical. We'll put the thimble reed here and the sieve here. Yeah, there we go. That looks a bit better. I could even just move these over a bit to the read here. That'd be a bit silly, though. You know what I'm going to do instead? I'm going to move this bathroom one, one bit over. And we'll have the metal statue here. And then it'll look so much fun. Really not important. I'm just being fussy. Every asteroid base is looking slightly different on this run, which is nice. a little better. It'll do. It'll be functional. So wire can go here, here. That will be fine. 
than the plumbing. So. See, regular water will come up here and feed in the system here. That's excess polluted water. Excess polluted water will come down here. The clean water will bridge through here. There you go. And then... What I'll do is I'll... pollute that up here as well. Let's move that one over. Do it like that. And then the polluted water will all go... this. Yeah, we're going to make the piping actually simplified on this one. We're not going to go for any abstract art pipe work. I think this should work fine. And then what I'll do is I'll disconnect this and put a bridge. In fact, what I'll do is I'll disconnect that and I'll just build the pipe here for now. So it connects on directly here. And then that'll fill up all of these. You don't believe me? <laughs> believe it. Yes, yeah, so we can get all of that done. Speed up again. Because I basically want the dupes to stop using this space today. I want this to just sort of no longer be used because this space is much nicer and more organized. Well, let's see. Uh, actually, let's go to construction and digging. Right, let's also pick the skills of everyone else. So, who's our decorator? We have two decorators. Marie Curie, who's not going to move because she's radioactive. And Archimegas. So you are going to teleport over to this asteroid. So we're not going to give you another skill. And then everyone else can have some more skills. May have slightly overskilled Dimitri there, we'll see. We're going to build some more recreation buildings. That's on the list of things to do. I'm going to give everyone researching so they get more attribute points, just generally. We have astronomy, Giovanni. You can have operating. <laughs> Gustman can have cooking too. Most useful dupe. Marie Curie, you can have... You know what? I think, yeah, just, just researching. And then Michael, you can have operating. I would like some more operators. You have 47 morale. How? Well, I'll give you building anyways. Everyone wants building. And we'll go over to Inverazon and we'll send we'll send Archimegas over. Except we won't because he's actually on this. Ah yes, there's the rub. We'll need uh we'll need someone to go pick them up. Yep, that's fine. So rockets. There is food in here. Uh there is oxygen in here. So let's send that rocket to Neutraloni. Still have an Atmo suit in here. There is a second rocket platform waiting for us. So, yep, uh, let's go ahead and do the launch.
You're not the pilot, are you? Oh, no. No, you don't, you guys don't have to go. There you go. Just Galileo. You need the loo. Okay. Well, you should have a functioning toilet in here. Yeah, feel free to use the loo. There we go. Three, two, one, go. I forgot to announce the launch. <laughs> there we go. Have a rocket launch. Salt water is going to get very confused. And the rocket appears to have left some uh, graphical interface behind. Okay. While we wait for that, let's uh, continue building this asteroid. Yes, I uploaded the uh, video. I uploaded the video about asteroid faster start types. I, I managed to record it last night after the stream, and I don't think I made any super huge mistakes. <laughs> so this time I was just happy to upload it. Daniel, you can have uh, researching. So that is on the YouTube channel. Uh, I just talk about all the different asteroid cluster starts. Um, I produce some tables, which are a lot like the ones on the wiki, except hopefully a bit more up to date. I should probably go and actually update the wiki at some point. I've never edited a wiki. Can anyone do it? Or is it like a... Can only certain people edit the wiki? I presume, like, people can just edit it. And it gets moderated. Hey, silly device, how you doing? Um, Dot, the dupe without a name, almost suffocated down here trying to build this fire pole. <laughs> there was oxalite down here that was giving them oxygen, letting them do it, but then it got filled with water. So, uh, yeah, that was fun. Not the safest dig in the world. We are building uh, a bathroom over here for the dupes as part of the base. Um, and then we're going to extend the base down here a little bit. Uh, not entirely sure what I'm going to put where. I do want to get rid of all this stuff as well, but we'll let the dupes do this first before we, we clear this out. Yes, it's the weekend. It was on purpose, yes. Yes, definitely. I just felt like murdering all the dupes. Like that murderous rage within me. Uh, yep, so that will be a thimble reed. We have approximately zero thimble reed seeds. It's pronounced bullet. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> it's actually it's actually short for Fernando, but the Fernando is silent. Yeah, have fun thinking all of this. We'll need to put the gas filtration in as well. Now, I know the base... Now, let's see. I'm going to put the base of the asteroid of the home base here. So we know this is going to be insulated tiles. So let's build that. Banan dot. Yes, excellent. So we can build that. Uh, we'll pump this water out and fill the bathrooms. And then we're going to have rec rooms in here of some kind. Transformers will go somewhere else. Still not 100% sure where yet. And then at some point we'll want to build a proper natural gas processing room. We are storing... We are storing a fair bit of it in here. A lot of the farts from the dupes are concentrated down here, but this is just by accident. There's also some natural gas down here. But yeah, I'm thinking the actual natural gas storage room, I might put it down here or something. I don't know. I mean, this vent is actually freer for construction. So I probably should build it here. I just can't be bullied yet. Who's idle? Oh yeah, you're idle on the rocket. That's fine. Well, when are you landing? When are you landing? You're landing in 66 seconds. That's fine. Oh wait, have you run out of um, plastic for research? You have. Okay, we'll drop some more plastic in here as well.
how the Draco's looking. We do need a couple more Dracos. So let's grab these guys. Then how about the grub grubs? Grub grubs are fine. How about the sweetles? Sweetles are starving. Yes, we're trying to fill up with sweetles because uh, there isn't quite enough sulfur. That is something I need to do. And the geyser is actually dormant at the moment, so now would be a good time to do it. I wanted to build an Escher waterfall in here. Somehow. Um, we'll need to send some gas in and do some fiddling around with that. I'll need to do that before it gets active again. Yeah, let's keep expanding all of this out. Um, I'll put some doors here. Who's entombed? Oh, there we go. I'm entombed. Perfect. Oh, wow. This is a weird one. Look, I've entombed myself, but the head isn't isn't the stuck part. It's just my body. Uh, so I'm just kind of vibing in the tile. Easy. This is just me trying to get out of work. <laughs> Good job. You saved my life. Yeah, comfy beds. Right, we're back. Let's go grab... Actually, first of all, let's go put some plastic in here. So, plastic goes in the rockets. And then we can find that here. Uh, you know what that'll do. Oh, whoops, there we go. Right storage bin. I don't think it was. Okay, you know what? Just sweep this. That's fine. A moment without a suit will give you two gases. Actually, that's very true. I mean, a suit will exhale CO2. We just need to get the gases in a stable configuration. So we'll need to plan the tiles out properly. But yes, we can we can get a dupe to fart to make an Escher waterfall, if that's what you're into. We can try that. You're delivering the data banks, that's good. Uh, let's add Archimegus to the list. Here comes Galileo with the plastic. There we go. There's enough food for both of them. But obviously no bed. Uh, so you know what? That will that will actually do. Uh, so let's head back. Yep, so there's Galileo, and then... There's Archimegus, good. Good stuff. You're hungry. I've got good news for you. There's food on the rocket. And let us accumulating ammo suits in here. That's fine. We'll uh we'll want those at some point. No, not the clothing. Oh, re equip your clothing. Where'd you put that clothing? There you go. Have your spiffy overalls. Oh, 
Oh no, hold on. It's Galileo that needs it. Right, actually. And then you need to remove your suit. Wow, we really have accumulated a load of suits in here. Well, we want those on the other planet anyways. It's all good. Right. Uh, you also dropped your Spiffy Overlords. So here you go. Then consumables. Set you two back to eating the berry sludge. You're not going to wear your clothes. Let's, let's just launch. Three, two, one, go. Hey, Charmich, how you doing? Uh, we're back. We're a little late, but we're back. Um, not really sure what I'm doing today. Uh, I guess we're just expanding the base down here. Like we, We've almost finished building a functional bathroom. That was kind of the plan. So this needs a wire, so it goes here. We're always building bathrooms. That's just all we do on this stream. Build bathrooms. Uh, we will want to put recreation related stuff in here. Um, so arcade cabinet, phone, jukebox. We'll obviously need to get the power infrastructure for that to all work. Probably do some solar panels. And then we could start upskilling the dupes here a bit more once the morale is better. That seems like a pretty good plan actually. So yeah, arcade cabinet can go here. Uh, phone can go here. No. It's always nice to have at least two phones on one asteroid because then if no one is around to chat from another planet they'll still get the plus two bonus and still the plus one. And then yeah if I can just go like that. Stagger the lights like we were before. Yes we need to actually get someone to do all these decorations. So, I mean, I'll hook the lights up to the main network, but I think I want these buildings to be on different networks. So we'll leave them unplugged for now. Except for this one. We'll plug this one in. Then soda fountains, we'll want those as well. see uh i'll keep these as the vertical orientations but yes we'll, we'll continue setting out the uh the rainbow wallpaper the rainbow strike you have two more cool ceiling lamps yeah i'm not a huge fan of the blossom one hopefully we can get some better better ones of those uh dracos here are fine so just eat a load of dracos it's fine And then this would be a rec room as well. I want a rec room where we have water based buildings. Uh, I don't know. We're not really using too much of stuff here. I guess we'll put the soda fountain in it. We haven't ended up doing pinch of pepper nuts or mushrooms. We probably will have mushrooms once we get the puffs going on this planet. I'm not going to worry about that too much. But might as well get the might as well get the wallpaper done. There you go. So we know we're gonna go all the way down to here, so we might as well finish this. Yeah. 
you go. Having an extra dupe to build all this stuff will also be handy. Because this is where most of the work is currently happening. Let's speed up again. Oh, who's... Oh, yeah, that's fine. Wow, you're actually digging all of this. Good job. We're slowly getting there. We can actually now dump some more salt water on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this here because this will form a, a liquid lock. And then we can just dig dig this straight out. Although we will need to cover we will need to cover this again. Will we? Nah, if we build the ladder straight up, this should all just drain. Let's do that. Let's drain all of this. And let's uh let's dig all of this as well just to make sure it does that. So I don't want I don't want to flood this bit. I don't think people should be hanging out here too much anymore. And then once we've done that, we've actually already got hydrogen in this room. Um, I am just thinking of putting the Draco ranches here. I'm not sure which rooms exactly. Maybe we'll empty out this whole bit from space. Don't dig the floating tiles. Why not? I'm gonna do it. They will guide the water straight. Do they? I guess they probably do. For some reason, my brain always thinks that if you have tiles in the way, it will, uh... It will, uh... Sort of trick the water into trickling the other way. I guess it's kind of like in real life, where you have, like, a tap, and you've got stuff near where the water flows, or just bend the water flow. But that obviously doesn't happen in this game. <laughs> Lots of things that happen in this game. Like, my colleague was talking to me earlier about, um... Like, the pressure and temperature variation things. Like... When you when you compress something, it increases in temperature or whatever whatever the law is. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I was thinking that definitely doesn't happen in this game. And so I haven't had to think about that particular law of physics for a while, and I've forgotten it. Yeah, let's keep an eye on that. You should build this pretty quickly. Uh, I'm also going to deconstruct this here so that the dupes don't hang out here too much. Uh, we can we can turn this off as well. Disable this, because I don't want dupes wandering over here. And then this stuff shouldn't function too much. Let's watch this happen. Ah, uh, look, Archimedes is here. They're decorating. They've built a, a statue of a smug pip. Very nice. I'll wait to see what they come up with. I do have the More Marble Statues mod enabled, so we will see a fair few different things. Oh, and we'll need to put the crown molding here, too. That's fine. Let's pay attention. Uh, we did remove those tiles here. Let's see what happens. We may still be alright. Yeah, because it's it's re it's reaching this point and it's trickling down. The the polluted water might complicate things. It looks like it is leaking over here slightly. Hmm. Interesting. Looks like we've got a natural bead pump going. This natural, this tire was overpressurizing with natural gas. It's always interesting to see. So, in case you're curious, so this is what's happening. The liquid is trickling down in in tiles, and that actually pushes the gas up somehow. So all the natural gas is ending up over here, hyper concentrated. We will probably build an actual functioning bead pump later, but I guess we're dumping some of the salt water in here. Too. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's a messy situation. Oh, well, we're not really using this anymore anyways. I'll probably just dump the polluted water in there again. This is fine. This is not stopping any of this from working. The plug slug is just very confused. They're just like, weird alien water to doing.
I have realized a flaw with this plan. <laughs> These poke shells have survived to adulthood. Uh, they are currently at 19.2 um, degrees. <laughs> and now they're angry because more poke shell eggs are in here. But no dupe's going to walk through the door. So the poke shells should guard the food. And then they shouldn't attack the dupe through the door. Let's see. I mean, at the moment, they're not eating anything from there anyways. Uh-oh. Are you going to get attacked through here? That would be absolutely hilarious. See what everyone feels like doing. You can still reach if they stand at the emptier. The thing is, they don't stand there long enough. I think to trap the the poke shells eye so we're just gonna have angry poke shells in the freezer they're gonna be angry not because they're in the freezer but because uh we've got eggs and hopefully it doesn't stop the food from being sterile I don't think it is the poke shells aren't heating up the freezer enough for it to work like that All right, let's speed it up. I've given these guys a load of things to build. Yeah, let's just watch them get on with it. Galileo earned a skill point. Let's have a look. I'm not going to skill anyone up for now. I think some of that morale was to do with some high quality food that got payloaded here. Yeah, you're right. I mean, the dupes probably will just randomly stand there at some point just for no reason. We'll see what happens. What have we got? Uh, we've got a Nyctophobe. We've got Harold, who is a hard digging building doctoring god i swear we have like 10 dupes at least with doctoring interest you do not need this many doctors building and supplying i guess are good interests uh, hard digging skill is pretty handy so we're going to print harold on the other asteroid again and we'll actually be up to 10 we're up to 10 over here uh so we will need uh an actual make some actual beds it's fine so here is Harold, a doctor. Not if I can help it. Harold, you can have uh, supply. We'll get you to exosuits. Oh god, I can see where this is going. Right, so you can have yeah, put building higher than digging as well. That's okay. Oh god. Right, okay. Very clever. You've named you have named our doctor uh degree. What a what an inspired name. There you go. Please welcome degree into the colony. <laughs> oh well that's fine. Um let's see. Primo Garb. Did we make a load more? I feel like I told people to make a load more. We did make three. Let's make another five. Actually, you know what? Let's just make ten. We've got the read five. Let's just do it. Then Primo Garb should be going in here. I never set that, so Primo Garb can go in there. Then that will get sent to this planet where. Turn this off. Let's just double check that everyone on this planet has the Primo Guard first, because I'm pretty sure I made it for people on this planet as well. Alright, let's see. Aresia farting. You get one. Then 
I think that is actually it. Okay. You're not reason faster, you're Marie Curie. Continue to sweep that up. Right, and let's uh, temporarily payload launch those over. Also, keep an eye on uh, who doesn't currently have those. Let's see. So on this planet, it's... Uh, don't think anyone on this planet needs them. Also, we only have five dupes on this asteroid now. Is that enough? It probably is enough. To keep all these critters under control. I just need to make sure that I don't um, move anyone else. Yeah, we've got ten dupes on this asteroid. Getting all the things built. Look, this statue has a, uh, a dragon... An auspicious dragon, I think. Called Lung. It's holding an orb. What dupes building right next to each other and farting all over each other? This is the fate that you've all signed up for. Oh, we've got our uh, weekly uh, blueprints. Let's have a look at those. See what we uh, unlock. Ooh, look, we got the new lights. Lab flask. Nice. Do not fill with liquids. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, let's build those here. Rebuild these lights, please. Then, uh... We don't have any skins for the floor lamp, so that's not an issue. Yeah, deconstruct these ones. Let's go see how those look. I like these a lot. <laughs> Very cool. They look more light bulby than the normal lights. Excellent. Now it's going to feel really fancy here. Have a glossy tracker. Yeah, this is all getting built pretty quickly. That's good. So, next thing to do is expand out these bedrooms. I guess we'll eventually want a 10th bedroom. Uh, not 100% sure where to put that yet. I'll probably put that down here. All right, let's just bite the bullet. Let's just get them to dig... Dig that out. We'll let the water out through here. And then we'll immediately start building the tiles. We've got ice over here. I don't really care about melting the ice. I just want to get rid of it. So, we can seal that off that way. Start digging through here. We'll just rip the band-aid off. It'll be fine. And then uh, we'll, we may as well carpet these as well.
But I'm going to wait on this because I want them to make sure the water flows out this way. Let's make all of this stuff priority eight. There goes all the water. So now we'll very quickly ladder up here. We'll make sure to sweep all the liquefiables somewhere else as well. Uh, it's actually quite quick for you to build these, isn't it? So I'll just tell you to build those. Then I will probably, yeah, just get all this drywalled as well. That will do for now. Stick those there. File that. And obviously this is going to let all the gas out, but we'll get this built in time. I'm just going to rush around. I imagine what will end up happening is some of this ice will melt and uh, we'll have some water ending up down here, which is not an issue. Yeah, everyone come in here. We've got 10 people now, so I think we can get this done pretty quickly. And hopefully the water will just fall down here and not end up filling all these tiles. Charles Darwin having a dramatic moment. Got a squeaker. Looks like we've got Azura, presumably from the Elder Scrolls. Yes, now you can get started building all of this. In fact, I'm gonna. Can I yell about this? Are you guys gonna kill me if I yell about this? Also, I just realized you can't actually access all of this tile. That's not yellow that would look. I'll need to build some ladder segments to get that wall built. Uh, it can stand on the doors, so that should actually be the only one we need to be a ladder. I think. Yeah, who gets to sleep out in the uh, vacuum room today? <laughs> I guess this will get rid of all the hydrogen at the top of the base. Yes, normally I would suggest being more patient than this, but I'm kind of done with being patient. I just want to do things quickly. I want to make some actual progress. It's not like we're going to run out of polluted dirt anytime soon. But I'm not really that worried about the oxygen situation. Oh wait, this is actually going to be Draco area, so that could be a different color. What color will we make this? 
Uh, let's just make it blue. That seems all right. Yeah, dig those as well, please. Yeah, leave that one there. That's fine. Yeah, you're going to get this done quickly. Ash White. Yeah, I think because this is near space, we'll have the two Draco ranches. We'll have like the, I don't know. We'll have like the glossy Dracos here and the regular Dracos here, maybe. And then we can put the last bedroom down here, and just put some reed fiber related buildings over here. So actually, we can continue to dig out all of this water. So let's let this out as well. Also, we ended up with some very, very small sand tiles. Let's uh, dig those out. Then I guess on priority eight, we'll uh, make these marble sections, etc. Wait, are we we're not out of gold. We just can't access it. What happened to the gold? Did we really use all of the gold? Maybe we did. It's not very cash money. It really isn't, in a very literal sense. Oh, is it just buried in a sand tile? Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, there we go. There's our gold again. Cool. Common sense. Sometimes it's included, sometimes it's not. Yeah, so we can build those. Build these as well. Uh, food is running out a little bit. We'll need to get some more food shipped over. Uh, what food do we have over here? Don't have any grub fruit preserve. Um, we can just send over the roast grub fruit nuts as well, to be honest. So, payload launch those for now. And then I will set those to be something here as well. That way, the dupes will bring all of the uh, stuff in here. Who is suffocating? Hammer. Oh. <laughs> Hammer, what have you done? <laughs> now, this this is an image, isn't it? This uh, this kind of tells a story of a uh, not very sensible people. So, they're, they're, they're sleeping with the crabs instead of sleeping with the fish. Uh, let's see. You at least have hard digging. You're, uh, yeah, you have hard digging. Perfect. So you need to... Yeah, you need to dig that out. Dig this out and then dig this out and then you can escape. Uh, what they probably did is they dug this, climbed on top of the sand, and then, then they ran out of dig errands there. Uh, there is a decent chance I could die. Because there is not any oxygen in this general room. Yeah, you're yeah, you're sneezing. No, Hammer, do not die. We believe in you. You need to go. Yeah, go recover your breath.
Do not get deceived by the oxygen up here. You need real oxygen. There you go. We haven't had a dupe die in a while. Hopefully we don't. So this liquid lock should stay tight. Uh, so this area will remain sealed. We can just dump all this liquid in here and vent off the hydrogen. I don't really mind. I guess what the sensible thing to do would be is to get them to start building the wall in here as well. That would make sense. Exactly sure how wide that would be. Let's see. Fire pole can go here. In fact, I'm going to tell you to just build the fire pole going all the way down here. That's you know. then you can dig these out. Uh, yeah, these those still need to be priority nine. People do need to still actually get over here. Uh, you need to build this fire pole then. Let's get over there that just to make sure someone actually builds it, and then they can get over here and seal off the construction here. And also, these walls. That one's unreachable. Is that actually unreachable? No. Okay. There you go. You made a mess. Louis, why did you make a mess? Oh, you're running to this bathroom. This bathroom that uh, is no longer going to work. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Oh! Oh, that's an oversight. We turned off the old bathroom before we got the new bathroom working. Why isn't this pumping? Because the power wire needs to be built. Right, you need to build that immediately. In fact, let's get alert this before we get everyone else, everyone else doing that. That should be the only wire we need. And then plant this. I forgot an important step. However, this map is covered in polluted water anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Obviously, it's not very pleasant for the deeps. Hopefully, we don't just have them all uh, peeing each other simultaneously. Peeing themselves, not peeing each other. I'm not even going to comment on that. There we go. Dupes are using the bathroom, so that's good. Yeah, plant is planted. That is good. Oh, the temperature. Hold on. Uh, it is warm enough. No, it's not warm enough. Oh, that's bad. Hmm. That is something I did not fully consider. I mean, the polluted water will be warm. So hopefully that helps, but we may need to Put something hot in here as well. Uh, I know. What. This gold is hot. Let's make a gold temp shift plate. Just, uh, <laughs> just for a minute, and then we can put that uh, here. No, we don't want to remove the uh, backpack. We'll put it down here. This might be a bit too hot. We'll see. Very interesting. You would say cancel it after delivery. Um, I could do that in the room. Yeah, that would make sense. Let's do that. So to be honest, just the hot lump of gold there will probably do. Do most of the job. Yeah, you can build all these tiles, surely. Yes, this is currently going to be built by Dot. <laughs> I may have to rethink my names with 
uh, rules with uh, renaming dupes because uh, some of these names are getting kind of kind of sketchy. <laughs> but uh, it's fine. We'll leave them. Right. I believe we have sealed in the gases now. That's good. I'm sorry. Am I am I uh, offending your ancestral heritage of of your family that's named after like punctuation marks? Is that what's happening? Come on. Oh, you can't build that because uh, this mud is in the way. Gotcha. There you go. Is the next name ready, by the way? Well, we may get some more dupes. We may not. But they're not going to fit on this asteroid, so we'll just print them off at the uh, idle ones. But yeah. What is our blueprint? Let's have a look. We got basic red gloves. I do need to give the dupes some default outfits at some point. Also, we have loads of Primo Garb here again. Let's actually get these guys in SPP overalls. Yeah, you get one. You get one. You get one. Uh, Hammer, you're definitely over here. You get one. Leonardo. Louis and... Theresia Farting still hasn't picked up theirs. Presumably because it got moved from the other asteroid. That's fine, we can give you another one here. It is a reason for farting anyways. Everyone remembers Neo Reza Gaming, but no one remembers a reason for farting. Yeah, you need to come down and actually uh, do this. Yeah, go grab that please. Speak your rules for all. Oh, and now you can't reach that because you've dug all of that. Mm, fair enough. Uh, well, just dig this then. And then we'll come over here and we'll dig... We'll uh, store all of these as well. And then this will be the way the Drekos go. I think I'm going to do this today just so that we actually get the food. Uh, looks like the roast red fruit nuts are... Where are they? I put them on this... I believe I have. Let's just double check. Resource list. They're still over here. So someone needs to come and grab all of those. Oh yeah, because it's set to sweep only. Yeah, got got it. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> These guys just look so ominous in the carbon dioxide room. It's surprising. Also, something I should do is just put some airflow tiles in these middle bits. And put deodorizers up here in the actual base. That would make sense. You can do that over here as well. Let's make those airflow tiles again. And then at least the air of the base itself will be relatively clean. Go. Then we'll need to plug these all in. Let's 
So, uh, wire wise, for now we'll just bring this like this. Uh, I think eventually this wire will go over here. Actually, no, that doesn't make any sense. Let's just, uh, have the wire go... Well, it's going to go through one of these columns of doors. Let's go, have it go through here. It's fine. It's conductive wire, who cares? There we go. Right, so now we don't have any vacuum exposure, which is nice. So let's, uh... Yeah, we can make this all priority 8 now. That's fine. We have the red panda spirit over here, and then we also have Poseidon with his trident. Very nice. The poke shell is admiring Poseidon, being reminded of home, the ocean. I'm gonna run a little bit low on gold. I mean, this is gonna go dormant in 27 cycles. I guess it is still erupting at the moment, which is good. Yeah, let's continue building these. Then we can dig these up and build the last tile here. So the Draco ranches need to be 24 across. So they'll need to get to there, but I'm not I'm not gonna get rid of this one. I'm not gonna get rid of these ones. And then I think... I think I'll seal off the base here for now. But we can change it later. Let me check that poke shell's age. Uh, this one, it is 87, so it's going to die in like uh, 13 cycles. We got any more dupes? No, we do not. Uh, we have some hatch eggs. That's useless because we're not doing anything with hatches. It's post egg, yes. Sadly, this room will become lonely fairly soon. Oh, also, oh, we still have vacuum here. Hold on. Hold the phone. I need to get rid of this ladder. You can strut that and then put a tile here. We have the uh, toad here. Toad stool. They still need to add some kind of frog to this game. I think that is something they should do. It's a puff. Congratulations. Ease. Yeah, dig this out first and then we can put that last tile in. Oh! Something I should actually remember before I do this is that this is a Draco Ranch, so we want we don't want these to be doors, we want those to be sealed. And we'll pre-make these one these floors out of plastic so that we don't have to worry about that issue. So the ranch entrance will be here, so this will be flipped compared to our normal Draco Ranch style. So let's just make this out of plastic. Most of Draco ceiling is not reachable. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna put ladders in. That's fine. Yeah, I guess we could start doing that for I mean, actually, I, I should figure out where the farm tile is gonna go and then get that done first. Let's put some ladders in. 
so this should... Uh, that's not reachable there. Should help. That'll do. Should be fine. They could reach... Oh, they can't reach our left corner. Yes, you're right. Whatever. There you go. So, let's see. These Drakkarajas are... Well... Yeah, I guess they're the same on both planets. Oh, no, this one... No, this one's completely different. This is because we've, we've crammed the bathroom into this little gap here. Uh, so... <laughs> let's uh, model it on this one. So, we're going to have six tiles, then the farm tiles. And then... Yeah, that'll do. So, six plastic tiles... Uh, we can remove this now. You, uh, Yola, build this, please. Yeah, I think at this point we can just remove all this stuff in and put the tent bathroom here. That's not a problem. Uh, so let's just go ahead and remove this. Oh yeah, just go ahead and remove this. We don't need the pipe full of hydrogen anymore. Then, in fact, yeah, deconstruct. Yeah. Deconstruct all of this. You won't be able to reach all of that, but that's. Actually, yeah, just just leave that ladder here. Then you can deconstruct all of this. That's good. So that'll be plastic. These will be plastic. That will be a door. You can start digging this out as well. And this will be doors. Uh... What about airflow tiles here? Dig this out. Deconstruct the ladder. Those will be carpet tiles. The rest of these can be regular tiles. And then we'll just make it seven for now. There we go. Arm tiles can go... Yeah. Yeah, let's have the glossy dracos on top. That is five, you're correct. <laughs> Maths. How does it work? But let's, um, let's see. Who prioritize first? Let's prioritize all this first. Let's just get this all done first and then focus on this stuff over here. We want the bathroom lights to work. Thimble Reed is growing. Very nice. Uh, we'll want to prioritize the comfy bed over here as well. And we'll also just want to prioritize it in here, because we do want a bed for our 10th dupe. We want to decommission these beds. So this could be priority 8. 
these could all be priority eight. Got another another guy with an orb. Got a dragon. Yeah, there we go. All the marble statues done. We just need the marble statue over here. Uh, this could be a nine. Could be an eight. Stupid plant. Get out of my way. We can dig this now. It should be fine. Yeah, it feels like stuff is getting done here relatively quickly now. Now that we have 10 dupes here. Yeah, and at least the bathroom is working. Uh, we did just end up straight up building that temperature plate. Let's replace it with... Uh, Rival again. It's dissipated all of its heat by now. That's fine. In fact, let's look at the temperature in general. So this bit is obviously cold because it was previously the space biome. That's not a huge issue. It may be an issue when we start um, doing the mealwood for the Drekos. So I will probably want to set up a loop like we have on the other planets. And you know what? I may even just build that on here with a thermoregulator again. As soon as a Brit, you consume worker comedians. Do you have any favorites? Uh, I don't think I have any specific favorite comedians. I don't tend to watch a huge amount of comedy. Um, I do have a least favorite comedian, which is Ricky Gervais. Like, I don't know why, but he just really annoys me. Like, the kind of jokes he tells and, like, he just has a very punchable face. Like, I just don't like him. It's not, it's, I don't think it's even rational, like, just, the way that he acts just annoys me. There we go, final bed. Sorry to all the, uh, Ricky Gervais fans. Jimmy Carr. Oh no, he's re I've, I've heard he's really, he's made some really bad taste jokes and stuff. I don't know, I feel, I've got to admit, my interest in comedy has kind of fallen off in the past few years. I don't know. I think I used to be into it more when I was younger, but I've never been... I've never been hugely into comedy, but... I remember watching, like, Have I Got News For You and 8 Out of 10 Cats and all those sorts of things. And they, uh... Yeah, I enjoyed them, but... I don't know. I don't know. I guess... I guess I'm just not really in the mood for comedy anymore. I guess if I'm in the mood for that, I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna, like, watch stuff online for that instead of watching comedians. All right, let's build these drivals as well. Let's not build over the deodorizers. Yeah, this could all go down here. That's fine. Yeah, it's looking good. I am going to wrap it up in all time tonight because I still need to get to bed. So apologies for a slightly short stream today. But they are chipping away. We even delivered ammo suits here. Now oh, that's interesting. Do we have any on the rocket? I guess uh, they're going to need to be delivered over at some point. It's not a very high errand. Let's let's make that party nine errand. There you go. So now we'll actually get some ammo suits in here and we'll eventually start filling those up. I mean, the oxygen situation over here is still fine for now, but eventually I want most of the polluted oxygen to be outside the base and then to only have clean oxygen here. But, like, having these in the base isn't too bad as, like, a precaution 
But we don't want the oxygen to be primarily polluted oxygen because they're probably not going to keep up with it. Everyone's just, <laughs> everyone's just vibing watching Archimedes on the phone because all these other buildings are turned off. Solar power definitely feels like something to do. How much glass do we have? We have we have one thousand glass. Yeah, let's uh, let's head that over. And we can put some solar panels in. We'll help with the whole power situation. Uh, so, in fact, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to actually send this wire over here. And we're going to connect all of this space stuff directly to that and then I'm literally just going to start disconnecting wires over here I don't think we can reach this wire inside the infinite storage that's <laughs> that's concerning I uh, probably should have made that out of conductive wire to begin with I mean, we could uh, we'll probably find a way to break in somehow. Oh, it does have an it does have an error on it, so I think it is allowed. It's interesting if that's allowed. Is that because we're replacing it rather than building it new? I didn't think you. I, oh yeah. So I think you could build tiles diagonally, and I guess you could build wires and pu uh, pipes diagonally, but I, I don't think you could build buildings diagonally. Also, we actually need to dust off that uh, double helix one. We'll send that over to the other asteroid to get um, get cleaned. I guess we could make all the stuff here. There's no point doubling up on all those buildings that we very rarely use, though. We might as well just ship stuff between the asteroids as needed. Also, I'm going to want to put a transit tube station out here. Let's just put that there. Dig all of that, and then that will actually work. That's why I can go here. Still one for a quick job in decon. I'm quite enjoying just watching these guys build everything. We've given them enough stuff to build. I guess build this stuff first. I'm quite liking this, this habit of building stuff in Priority 8 and then... Well, no. I think I think what I was doing was I was building stuff in priority nine, but I was highlighting it as priority eight. Well, that way, whatever I decide to build, the dupes will prioritize as soon as I click it to be built. But I can go back and highlight stuff as eight, and then as long as I keep remembering to do that, then I can make sure that whatever I tell them to do sooner is done quicker. Basically, just trying to find a habit that stops me from priority nining everything. Here you go. What's this asteroid doing for Dracos? Too bad. some wild dudes over here. Let's try and uh, wrangle those guys. Also, I never actually sealed this heat leak in, did I? <laughs> I mean, I guess this stuff can stay hot and it doesn't matter. 
I should probably just seal this again. Yeah, there you go. Have fun. Oh, that's where all the lead is. I mean, we're not building anything here at the moment. Oh, whatever. We'll just leave it open. It's not causing any harm yet. There's your farm tile. And then the rest of these will all be plastic. And then we can at least have the uh, Drekos get sealed in. Right. Yeah, that's all done. That's good. May as well get this stuff done first. Yeah, dig this out as well. <laughs> the issue is the space is becoming very wide, so it's not very convenient for photo taking. Oh well, we'll cope. That one's not powered. There you go. I should probably have done this a while ago with these geode rises here. Yeah, the rest of this stuff. To be honest, I can just disconnect this now. Yeah. Rhodium storage is full. Let's get this wire upgrade, uh, upgrade to priority 9. Then that'll be powered again. Still some power over here. But once that's drained, this will run out of power. Which is fine. And then that should be everything flipped over to conductive wires. What I'll do then is we'll run um, the natural gas generator, but we'll also build a conductive wire's worth of solar panels to top everything up. Not that I think we're ever going to run out of natural gas unless something goes wrong with this room. And the uh, rainbow tiles. <laughs> they need to continue. Hmm. Yes. Blue is the tile. We had ra we used the rainy uh, print for the Drekkers last time, so we're going to use blue this time. So feel free to just do all of this. Yeah, I'll take some gold. Why not? How's the oxygen looking? Yeah, oxygen's looking fine. We do not have... We have nine dupes here, so that's not too many. Yeah, food-wise, everyone's still living off the massive stockpile of uh, bristleberry from ages ago. We haven't been growing this for a while. Oh yeah, they are going to eat the, the gold, you're right.
eat. So we don't want any more hydrogen. Let's get rid of these guys. Extra food. So I think I am going to have only the one entrance and exit out of the base, and it'll be here. Now, you guys obviously can't build this stuff yet, because you, you need to dig that bit first. So I think I'm going to need to let someone out temporarily to do that. And that would be nice to do sooner rather than later. I guess, we'll, I guess actually, it makes sense to do that once we get the Atmos suits online. So we'll wait to actually build all this stuff until, until that point. Uh, got some polluted water. Right, uh, liquefiables. We need to put those somewhere. Let's put all of the... Hmm. Let's see. For now, let's just put, let's just make a storage bin down here. Let's make two storage bins down here. And this is where we'll dump all of our liquefiables, so eventually they'll just melt. That's the plan. This magma biome is sort of frozen. Interesting. The Ariza Gaming just grabbing the gold straight from the volcano, very classy. Who's suffocating? Hold on. Oh, yeah. Poor planning. Order of operations. Let's see. So to get out of here, you need to dig through these two tiles. Yes, you're rubbing your eyes. Then you should be able to get out of here. Oh. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yep, so now you should be able to go recover your breath. Is there pretty oxygen there? Not really. Covering breath, there's no oxygen here. Oh, interesting. Doesn't seem. Now you're. Yeah. That's very bizarre. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, let's get those storage bins built. Yeah, Charles Darwin is on the way. More salt water coming down here, that's good. You're building this wire, that's interesting. Yeah, once we've got Dracos here as well, then we'll build the Exosuit Forge and we can repair all the Exosuits. Then we'll get the um, a clean oxygen production area with a gas pump. I'll probably put that... I'll probably put that here, in this part of the base. We'll do something with a sublimation station. Because we'll want to consume all this polluted dirt, and then eventually we'll switch over to a spawn. I am quite enjoying just slowly filling the asteroid with rainbow, rainbow print. Yeah, I'm just going to build these. I'm going to yellow alert these because we need to stop the liquefiables from melting in the base.
go murder. Ah, there's a there's a normal one. Let's strangle that guy. Uh, can you actually get down here? You can. I've detected Pythagoras by a gas bubble. Right, let's see. So, liquefiables. The only one uh, ice in here. Snow, I guess. But you can, yeah, you can dump that in there. Yeah, most of the salt water is getting dumped out here. Now it's all floating into here. Oh well, we've stopped using this area, that's fine. Yeah, build these tiles as well. Or from top bedrooms. Yeah, that was from some ice that melted. So we need to start moving. I think actually the only thing we really care about is polluted ice. So let's prioritize that over the other liquefiables. Yeah, there goes the rest of that brine. <laughs> Error number 400. Yeah, we've got lots of errands queued up at the moment. Um, we do need to get the wall done first. So let's get that done first. Happy to let some of this brine leak down here. Provided it doesn't break this whole setup. Oh. Yeah, seal that in. Uh, we will eventually plant mealwoods here. Uh, obviously, we don't have any mealwood seeds here, so we'll need to import them. Uh, but we will also need to heat this area up. I bet 400 points that by the time they will store that ice, there'll be none left. Hmm. Well, see, some people have order number 372 and 548, but some people have it as order number 10. So I think it will eventually happen. But yeah, let's do the polluted ice first and then the other ice bits. Because we need to get it all out of here as well, just to make sure that the the, re the mealwood doesn't get too cold. And we'll want that to be on a separate temperature loop to the other one over here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to just mirror this setup and put it over here. Uh, so let's see. Metal tiles. Hold on with that wallpaper. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it doesn't take them too long to actually build it. It's fine. Hey, Leofar. Um, I'm going to end it at like 11. Um, I did not have a huge amount of time today. Feels bad. But uh, we are expanding the base. We made more bedrooms. Uh, we made a bathroom down here as well for all the dupes to use now. Uh, instead of this one over here. So we, we pretty much fully deprecated this base at this point. <laughs> Just checking if we could raid here. Um, 
yeah, you can raid here. We're gonna we're gonna set up some Draco ranches. I'm gonna put in another thermo regulator. <laughs> I love how you like the raid scout. Yeah, we're not putting rain. We've got the rainbow wallpaper all in here. We're not putting it in the Draco ranches. We got it. Um, well, we I, we got it this week, I think. Well, there's more fleets of water. Great. Tile of ice. Hmm. Yeah, starting to have some problems. Because we dug out a load of ice to actually build this stuff, so that's going to start melting again. There we go. Hey, Fungus, how's it? How's it going? Are things going uh, in your run? Are you uh, still doing your massive amount of dupes? How's that going? Let's uh, let's say hello to the fish. There's Whiskers. Whiskers. There you are. Whiskers, come over here. Say hi to the raiders. Yeah, there we go. I got Whiskers interested. There you go. Whiskers says hi to all of you guys. There we go. Oh my god. We got a double raid. Voice dying. Is it? Seems to be coming through the bike properly. Hello, hello. Welcome. <laughs> I like how the little raider boat is following Whiskers at the moment. But yes, we are playing Oxygen Not Included. Oh, GC Fungus's voice is dying. Ah, I see. That makes more sense. Right. So we are on cycle 499. We are on the Flip Farters run. So all of our dupes are flatulent. So we're having fun dealing with that. Um, and we've done, we've done a fair amount of colonizing of space. Like, uh, we started on the flipped asteroid. And we've had this base here functioning uh, since about cycle 200. So all of our dupes here are just running on the wheels now, pretty much. They're all uh, handling stuff pretty well. We haven't touched the magma yet. We're going to touch that at a later point. We, we did tunnel through this original uh, column of obsidian and sand to get out into space. Uh, but we did also dig through here to get to the sulfur geyser. Uh, but other than that, um, mostly what we did here is just normal base building stuff. We did build a hot sea vent tamer over here that's been running pretty efficiently for a while. Uh, Gustman is one of our new dupes. <laughs> and uh, they're just kind of vibing. They're, they're anemic, I think. Let me let me just check. Yeah, we're, uh, we're printing any dupe that has flatulent, regardless of the downsides. So Gustman is just doing their best. <laughs> that's why she's on the asteroid, but nothing too important is happening. Hey, the tech turtle. Do all do all only players enjoy pain lol? Um, I'll tell you what, it's not actually been that bad. Like having every dupe in your colony be flatulent is almost easier to handle than having just one dupe. Because what I've done is I've just got like a gas pump down here that filters out all the natural gas with a valve. And then that natural gas will get sent to our natural gas room. So we have a geyser in here. And then we have a drip pump going here where the gas is being shoved out of this room into this room, which is basically an infinite storage. And we've got like 300 tiles, uh, 300 kilograms per tile in here. I am going to have to come over here and deal with this at some point. We've been building up polluted water in here for a while because we don't have anything to consume it. Uh, so I need to find something to consume that soon, but that's OK. We do actually have thimble reeds now. So maybe that's something we could do just temporarily to get rid of this. Uh, what temperature is it over here? It's, it's quite cold. I'm going to put pips, uh, pips in here eventually. But for now, I'm just going to put some hydroponic tiles. And we'll just get some, we'll just get some more reed fiber. That's fine. So let's see. So that can go over here. What I'll do is I'll put a bridge in. So... Let's see. I wanted to prefer this. Yeah, so we'll do it like this. We'll have a bridge here, so the water will always flow into this bridge first, always flow into the fertilizer first, but if it misses that, we'll go into this bridge and get to the thimble reeds. That seems fine. Because I do not want to hold on to this polluted water forever. Yeah, the dupes here will actually have something to do now. <laughs> um, we've got some Drekos down here as well. We're building this on the metallic volcano uh, asteroid 
or the Metallic Swampy Asteroid as well. Uh, it's just taking these guys a little bit of time to do it because they're fairly newly settled here. Um, we've been here for about 100 cycles and we started off with like two dupes. But we printed a lot of dupes over there. One more cut there between bridge outputs. Ah, yes, true. Well spotted. Thank you, Silly Device. Silly Device is very good at spotting things. So, uh, yeah. We'll put the Thimble Reeds here. You guys should build that pretty quickly. Uh, what else do we have here that's interesting? Um, mostly just early game stuff, to be honest. We have our spawn down here that's been working pretty well. We just have a Hydra spawn going here. There's these thermo nullifiers all over the map that I've just been running for ages. So, uh, the outside of the map is somewhat cold. We've been letting a load of heat leak through here with our uh, hot water pipe from the steam turbine, but I guess that doesn't really matter. Backseating device. It's all right. I, I don't mind a little bit of backseating, but just remember that I, I do, I will occasionally just ignore you just for the sake of it. We have a sulfur tamer over here, but our sulfur geyser is currently dormant. But what we do is we pump the sulfur out of here straight away, and then we split it off into one kilogram per second uh, one kilogram per pipe tiles and then we uh we run it down here through this cold metal block and then that outputs nice room temperature sulfur and then we're sending it over to the desert lands asteroid where we have a teleporter and that sulfur is going to a load of sweetles and grub grubs uh although we're currently out of sulfur <laughs> so uh these guys might starve and have to repopulate a little bit but that's okay will eventually get some more. I don't mind if the population waxes and wanes over time. Yeah, we have some rockets. Not not, not anything too fancy. We have um, Tilly Device is a sugar rocket. We just have our normal solo spacefarer stuff going on in here. And then we have Bob the Cum Dioxide rocket that is hanging out on Stulazon, which is how people are getting to and from this asteroid. We've had Galileo do a few trips every now and then. Let's to sort that out. Yeah, it looks like you moved the polluted ice mostly now. That's good. I'll set regular ice in here as well. But uh, yeah, it's going okay. Um, we've been sending a lot of payloads to this asteroid with the targeting beacon. So, hold on. Why have you made a mess? Uh-oh. What's going on here? Bathroom should be working. This is backed up. We're definitely not producing more waste than this thimble reed can handle. Oh, we've let this back up with water. We filled it too much. Okay, that's uh, fair enough. That's on me. Well, we can disconnect that pipe now. This should drain fairly quickly. But yes, Galileo, you'll need to mop up that mess. Or someone else will. Yeah, here is Near Easy Gaming. Uh, Silly Device has gone to great lengths to rename all of these dupes. Uh, so we have some very interesting names here, like uh, Charles Darwin, um, Leonardo da Vinci, Galileo Gasolei. We also have the new additions uh, Bullet and Degree. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we've got some abstract names going on. Yeah, I hope you're all doing well. Um, we're just expanding out this base, really. Ooh, I got a blueprint. What am I going to get? Covered up the print button. Oh my god, look. We got a new cop. Nifty. This will go well with the, uh, the lab flask light that we just got as well. Um, that being said, this is the one asteroid that we have that isn't actually having any cots. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll build them somewhere else. Yes, we're getting all this stuff done. Let's just check and see if they have done the... Oh my god, Charmich, no! You're renaming another dupe. Right, okay. I I think I have a dupe available to be renamed. No, I think City Device got on that right away. I don't think I actually have any free dupes at this point. Uh, Yeah, they have all been renamed. Um, I'm not really sure what the policy is on renaming dupes. So I'll tell you what, I'll name the next dupe that we print. Uh, what do you even call that symbol? That's a... 
That's, that's certainly a symbol that I've used occasionally. Okay, just call it bar. Okay. Short for Barbara. I'll, I'll roll with that one. Yeah, we need to send some wheelwoods over here, and I need to actually get this built. We're going to build another thermoregulator over here. And, uh... Yeah, a cooling loop. A very small cooling loop going for this meal with. Shift plus left, left slash. Yeah, dig that out. Um, I guess I'll currently just put a ladder here so they can reach all of this. It's fine. We'll still leave that sealed for now. Hold on, you've got you've got the twenty fifth reserved. We can read, yeah, okay. All right, that's fine. I'll let I'll let you um if you if you allow it, we'll rename Michael Far today to that. Okay, let's go find Michael. Where are you? You're actually in a suit. Nice. Well, your name is now uh, Bar. <laughs> there you go. Have fun. This is gonna get very confusing. Arthur Day shall return for the third time. Right, let's, uh, yeah, let's build this pipe. So, we'll want the gas pipe thermosensor over here. We'll want the automation wire. This is just, I like using the thermo, <laughs> excuse me. I like using the thermoregulators for these tiny little cooling loops, because you don't need, it doesn't have so much of an instantaneous power draw. Even though it's not as efficient, it's efficient enough for what we need. Um, so I'm happy to use it. Radiant gas pipes, let's make those out of aluminium. And then we'll have insulated pipe go around here. It's fine. And that can just come back this way. So let's see. This will go down here, and then I think we'll just do the normal thing where we have a gas bridge. So it will, and then we'll build the pipe to go here. Yes. I can go there, and then this can just come around. I guess we'll just bridge it up here and then just loop it around like this. There we go. That should work. So that should be a loop that runs continuously. And if the gas is warm, it will run through the thermoregulator and um, come out of this. And then fill the loop. And then if it's cold, then it will go through to the bridge and load on once the uh, chilled air that has just been cooled by the device goes through. So this should work for what we need it to be. Uh, we can fill this with hydrogen. We do still have a little bit of hydrogen in this pipe. That's not quite enough. Um, it's fine. But you know what I'm going to do. We have this big infinite storage full of natural gas. I'm just going to use the natural gas instead to cool this. It's a little bit worse in that um, the specific heat capacity is very slightly lower. And the thermal conductivity is actually the thermal conductivity is not very good. You know what? Let's just use the let's just use the hydrogen. We'll set up another pump for the hydrogen. I filled these with natural gas before, but <laughs> that was because I didn't have an alternative. We do have plenty of hydrogen here, so we should go and use that. Yeah, let's see. Wire. I can just plug in here. That should be fine. They did already build this wire, so. This bit no longer needs to be hooked up. I haven't got around to building all of this yet. Let's get you to build this wire. We don't want any regular wires left. If we can help it. Yeah, hook those up too. That's fine. Yeah, let's speed to it again. So where is some hydrogen that we can just nick? So a lot of hydrogen has ended up over here. 
base pressure is not super high over here. Still probably is our best bet at this point. We could also just electrolyze some water and produce some more hydrogen if we want. Yeah, I think I'm literally just going to put a gas pump over here and we'll, we'll, we'll fill this with hydrogen from that. But we will connect up this uh, pipe from earlier as well. So this can just go here. And then... Fill the gas pump here. And... Thing is, yeah, we'll need to do one of those valve thingies again. So let's see. Looks like these those look like again. Have to go down and then have the valve go like this. So we're just going to trick it using mechanical principles. And then the other gases will just vent out here because this is only going to be temporary anyways. It doesn't really matter. And then we'll let the... We'll let the hydrogen on this way. That should work. And then wire-wise we can plug that in here. That should be fine. There's all the wire stuff going. Yeah, that's all hooked up now, so this should all be... This should all be conductive wire now. I guess we'll find out. Nice. Okay. Uh, so, next up on the priorities list... Yeah, they're slowly digging through this space as well. But, uh, yeah, let's get this done. I would like to get the Drecos up and running today. I'm not quite sure we'll have time for that. Yeah, let's just get all this built. Yeah, there you go. We should be able to access all of this. Disconnect power or output from that before flow is restricted and loop is primed. Yes, that is also true. We do uh, sometimes forget to do this. Yeah, I guess it's good showing this off while we've had a raid, because I've only I've only actually started doing this on this playthrough. We've been playing only for a while, and I haven't done these sort of valve-based filters yet. But they are quite convenient, and they don't use any power. I feel like the, I feel like the the filter that they give you in the base game is just a trap. Like, yes, it's very convenient, but it's always drawing 120 watts. You don't need to do that all the time. If you have loads of power, by all means, use them. But um, there are mechanical ways to filter gas that don't require the power. I quite like I quite like using the gas shutoffs as well, but this also works. Right. Oh yeah, we're on cycle five hundred. Nice. Apparently, we've been playing this colony for eighty nine hours. You know what? I'd be interested to see. I would be interested to see. Uh, people's <laughs> people's cycles to hour ratios because I reckon that my cycles per hour is probably like one of the lowest of most of the people that I've watched playing Oni because I like to play it on speed 1 a lot and on this run we've actually had it on speed 2 a bit more because we have had less dupes and performance has been a bit better um, we're getting about 20 FPS now which is still okay um, I am being careful about ranching critters trying not to get too many. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, get all this done. At least we have 10 dupes here actually doing the labor now, because when we had just two dupes here, it was quite slow. But I'm quite pleased this is all done. This is all getting done. Oh, we can remove these ladders as well. Let's remove those. And let's see what's in the pod. 
So we can't print dupes unless they're flatulent. Uh, and if they're flatulent, we have to print them. So I guess we'll just print the swamp chart part. Here you go. Yes. Um, all of the VODs for this uh, Farthers challenge are on YouTube, uh, which you can find here. Um, <laughs> yeah, the early game was definitely more of a challenge. We're at the point in the game now where we're kind of just vibing and relaxing and building stuff, which is nice. But uh, yeah, definitely some interesting quirks of starting on the flipped asteroid. We still have to find a use for all this magma at some point. We're actually getting a bit further into late game than I normally do. I mean, it's been a little bit repetitive in that we've been building all of these bases on the different asteroids. But we're getting to the point where we're going to start doing stuff we haven't done before. Like, now we have access to puffs um, from this asteroid. We're going to set up a big puff ranch on this asteroid where we've got the chlorine vent. We're going to get, we're going to ranch squeaky puffs and get the uh, bleach stone and use that to geotune stuff. Wait, who's trapped? Wait a minute. Uh, that's quite a feat. Good job. Yeah, dig this out. Here you go. You guys can escape, can't you? Yeah, that's good. Okay, that's fine. We've had a few close calls with some chaos today. <laughs> We've been planning out these errands a little bit haphazardly, but uh, they've survived so far. We haven't had anyone die for quite a while at this point, which is good. I think the last time that someone died was um, when I left the stream running um, while I was making the coffee, and I and I came back and like like a dupe died building a water tank in the early game. <laughs> so that wasn't particularly well planned. Speed two again. Yeah, the pressure up here is not amazing. Hoping this is actually going to be enough hydrogen to fill this. There's going to be a somewhat large loop is where the mealwood is placed. But I want the mealwood to be here because this is where the Drekos are going to be ranched. We do have some hydrogen over here as well. Let's get that loaded as well. Let's get that. Yeah, this is all going to get done. You guys aren't trapped, you're just actually building stuff. <laughs> Being slightly easy, but they're fine. There's enough off-gassing going on in here that they're not actually suffocating. They're just pausing to breathe every now and then. Also, I love the true tiles mod that we got here. Um, I love the gold stars and the gold tiles. You could build bridges instead of insulated parts. That is true. We could just have a sequence of bridges and use less pipe that way. Basically a third saved gas. Hmm. That is, in that is interesting. Am I going to bother doing that? Yeah, because each of these is like one kilogram. We're not going to have enough hydrogen up here to fill the pipe otherwise. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't necessarily need to be full. It will still work if if it's only somewhat full and it's getting a cold blast every now and then from the pipe. We'll just we'll just see how filling up goes. Although I will temporarily uh, make these. They're not space exposed, are they? No. Temporarily make these. Uh, temporarily deconstruct these so the hydrogen can flow freely those are in space oh yeah they are balls it's gonna let all the <laughs> it's gonna let all the hydrogen out now that wasn't a good plan Oh, damn it. Nice. 
No, why are you coming for all the way over here? My precious hydrogen. I have wasted your time and your gas. There you go. Well, we'll see how it goes. It's just annoying because we actually... Actually, I've had a thought. Perhaps instead of having the gas pump here, we deconstruct these and put the gas pump here for now. Yeah, because we want the hydrogen in the ranch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So we'll uh, build the pump there instead. Let's uh, speed up a little bit. Everyone is currently having food. People are at high stress. It's because I've put Arch Archimegus too many skills. Yes. Maybe we'll have to skill scrub someone at some point. No, I don't think it'll take too long to build this pump here. I would rather get all the hydrogen out of here. I want the hydrogen in the ranch. I don't necessarily need it over here. Yeah, looking forward to hooking up some more of these stuff up once we've got more uh, power connected to everything. Yeah, so we'll be disconnecting this soon. Also, let's get rid of all this uh, police force from the bedroom. Hmm. In the meantime, we can get all this stuff finished. We'll pour some oil in here to make it a bit more conductive again. There's not actually a lot of gas in here. Uh, so this might overheat a bit more quickly than normal. This is the vacuum of space parts, so... Not particularly well thought out. There is a lot of brine in here. Perhaps if we build these tiles first, we'll just dump the brine in there. And that's a lot of mass, and that will keep it, um, that will uh, absorb a lot of the heat from this to start. But eventually we'll want better gas. Let's move the gas pump over here. That does not need to be yellow alert, there you go. We'll flood. So... We've got three tiles here. The brine does store to 1,200 kilograms per tile, normally, I think. So I feel like it won't flood because it's brine specifically. Oh, the building will flood. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Okay, right, so we can't do that. Hmm. Well, we still need to deal with all this brine. We can let it out down here and then it can then it can interface with the metal tiles. Same with all of this brine. That would work. So let's just cancel that. We'll get all of this. We'll get all of this built and then we'll uh then we'll let that brine out down here. Just hopefully flow in. Yeah, and then what we could do is we could dig that here. Stop yellow alerting everything. Uh, here we go. And then we can just start digging these out. In fact, don't, don't even think about doing those for now. Do this instead, and then we can get rid of all this liquid and put it to use. 
Also, I got a notification about Drekos. Uh, I imagine we need to fill one of these. Yes, we need a glossy Draco and a regular Draco. We're in luck. There we go. Let's speed it up and continue again. Yes, I've got to go in about... <laughs> We've ended up with one of the wild Dracos that we sent an egg over by a payload. They've just wandered in here randomly. Pretty funny. Hopefully they wander down here, because this is the room we want the regular Dracos in. I guess we'll finish this off next stream. But we'll at least get the cooling loop working today. Gotta think of someone I'm gonna raid as well. Because I know... <laughs> Because normally I go raid, um, let's see, I do raid Sushi Queen 22 occasionally, I think I saw them playing earlier. I'll probably be them if they're online. Let's set this to some green signal if above 30 degrees. Yeah, there goes the liquid. So I'm hoping to just fill this up completely and then that will dissipate the heat from this thermoregulator into the rest of these tiles, etc. Which should be enough for what we need. You finally grab the plastic from that payload. Nice. Oh, where are you going? Ah, you're going to go grab this plastic. Nice. I get an interesting noise when they wander over the ice. Also, Archimigas, you're actually getting very stressed. You're the decorator. We, uh... We could actually send you back now. Yeah, hold on. Where, where are you? Yeah, your morale requirement is quite high. Yeah, let's send you back. That's fine. Uh, so, Galileo, Archimigas. Go back to Neutraloni. Uh, do you have food? You do. Plenty of berry sludge in here. There's some roast crop fruit nuts in here. Yeah, let's just get going. then hopefully you won't stress out. I could put you on a sleep-only schedule, but we don't actually need you over here anymore. I'd rather have a more useful dupe that isn't a decorator. It's somewhat fueled up. It's not completely fueled up, but that's okay. Yeah, Galileo's on their way. Yeah, there's Archimigas. Oh, they're destructive. Oh, and they're 95%. Hmm. Interesting. You're not going to get on the rocket? Oh, right. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, get in the rocket, please. Right, let's launch this. Yep, that's fine. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Blast the poke shells. You're not going to launch. There you go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Remember the little rhyme for which liquid to use as coolant? Yeah, this is all connected up. I like that. Yeah, keep digging this out. That's fine. Right. 
Ah, uh, yes. So Archimedes is now... Uh, so this was kind of intentional. Um, Archimedes is now having their stress reaction, but they're on the rocket, so they're only going to destroy stuff that's on the rocket. Uh, which we can repair pretty easily. And it's fairly constrained. This is what I like to do with uh, destructive dupes. Just put them somewhere where they're not going to actually do any real damage. <laughs> but uh, yeah, normally if I was going to keep them there, I'd have just put them on a sleep only schedule and sent them to bed. <laughs> Little guy. Now he's bashing the... Uh... Rocket. Also, where is the where is the oxygen? There is oxygen. Oh right, you broke the oxygen machine. Ah, I see. Yes, that is a slight issue. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> my plan, my plan. Uh, yes, let's rebuild that quickly. The brief. What what have we ended up allowing to happen? At least he's not destroying anything else. Right, rebuild this. Then we'll see what Archimedes does after that. Also, he keeps saying that he has contact with zombie spores. That was ages ago. What is the situation with this hydrogen? Pipe is still not completely built yet. That's okay. I do need you guys to come out and build that though. Let's speed up. <laughs> I've just read your uh, rhyme, uh, silly device. Yes, very, very poetic. Oh, you're out of plastic. Uh, I guess we need to send over some more plastic. That's fine. So, let's see. This is uh, not sweep only. Let's start sending plastic again. Also, we should have sent all the glass so we can make the solar panels whenever we want to. It's nice. You are literally just breaking the oxygen diffuser again and again. It's quite funny. <laughs> It's got to allow it for the oxygen diffuser. Just looking at it very menacingly now. You're still breaking it though. Good job. And it's going to eat some food very angrily. Right, let's uh, rebuild this. Yeah, at least switch the bedroom. Yeah, I mean, it'll be off in a minute. I think the asteroid, I think the, the rocket's nearly there. It's, oh, it's 0.5 cycles. Yeah, all right, we'll give you the bed. Here you go. <laughs> Mom said it's my turn to have the bed. <laughs> this was not designed for two uh, dupes, but uh, they're not in the rocket for very long, so whatever. Unrested bed jostling. Oh, yeah, because it's a ladder bed. A stupid was woken up and a friend climbed on their ladder bed. Immunity minus 5% per cycle. Stress plus 5% per cycle. Right. Let's rebuild that again. That is fine. It's like the odd <laughs> It's like the odd couple. Like one of them is breaking all the machines, the other one's fixing it. There you go. That should be fine. Right, let's uh, let's see. So you built that gas pump. That's fine. Uh, we'll need that to go over to this bridge. So I guess just build a regular gas pipe over here. That did not need to be yellow alert. 
There you go. Yeah, finished off. You might as well finish off the drywall. That won't take very long. And then we'll get all this hydrogen out of here, put it in the pipe. Now we've poured that liquid in, I'll seal this as well. And then hopefully some gas will actually accumulate in here now that it's trapped by the liquid. That will help conduct the heat as well. So yeah, pour some oil in here, that's fine. Uh, we do need a power wire for this. It's okay. It's okay there. Uh, you're going to be all right. Yes. I reckon we got one more cycle before I have to go. There goes the oil. Nice to see, that's a pretty decent quantity in there. That should do. There we go, now this will slowly fill up with gas. Right, and then the hydrogen. So it's going to be a mix of hydrogen and oxygen that goes in here. Uh, we'll want to cut off the... Oh, uh, set this to 0.1 grams. Right, let's use the pliers to help us out here. There you go. <laughs> so we've got some hydrogen in here. They'll uh, set the valve to 0.1 grams per second. We want a very small amount of gas uh, floating around this little loop. Who's going to come set that? Hammer is. That's fine. Rocket has landed on the uh, asteroid again, so now Archimedes can just go and hang out. And Galileo can stay here for a little bit. That's fine. Eight dupes is plenty for here at the moment. Right, that's been set. So now all we need to do is send the hydrogen over. So that will bridge on here. It will enter the loop here and it will keep circulating around a 0.1 uh, grams per second and then any hydrogen uh, any excess hydrogen will go past the valve and it will enter the pipe uh what it's supposed to was it let's see Right, we connect this here. So, I didn't disconnect it. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Oh, I see. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, cool. Boo, hiss. Right, um, let's try again. So yeah, disconnected at first so that it recirculates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You disconnected at first so that it recirculates. Okay. And we need to get rid of this uh, oxygen here. Once it's primed, you don't have to fiddle with it like this. Yeah, who's going to do that? No one, because it's break time. Great. <laughs> Inspired. What do you mean not allowed by schedule? Is Galileo literally the plumber? Have we really done that? Okay, well, I'm giving some... No, we have we have Pythagoras. Where are you? You're asleep. Well, that, that checks out. Well, you can wake up. There you go. Have fun. Right, so now we've disconnected that, so we'll try it again. So the hydrogen will come through here. So 
So we'll let it do that. And now it is now it is full. So now we can reconnect it here. And now it's fully primed, so every tile will be full of hydrogen according to the flow rate of the valve. And the rest of it will go onto this loop. And now that it's primed with hydrogen, if any other gas tries to get on there, it won't fit, so it'll bypass the bridge and it will just vent here instead. And this actually works quite well because now the vent is far from the gas pump, which is what you want in a situation like this. And now if we speed it up, you see all the oxygen goes down here to get vented. And all the hydrogen enters the loop. It shouldn't be building up like this, but we'll, we'll let it build up like this while it fills. Uh... This seems slightly confused. Oh, this pipe needs to be finished. Right, yeah, you do actually need to finish this pipe at some point, guys. Uh, and at this point, I'm just quite impatient, so I'm just going to yell over there to it. <laughs> Please come along and do it. <laughs> Gasman is very uh, eager to uh, do the yellow there. Yeah, might as well do the tiles as well. Now oh, the H2 and the old pipe will yield. Yes. Once it's done. Oh, and we need to send the mealwood seeds over here in the first place as well. Uh, so, yeah, you can send mealwood seeds now, too. You're full of plastic. Uh, let's stop the plastic and let's start with the mealwood seeds. There you go. Fill these with mealwood seeds, please. on the case. Are you suffocating? Why are you guys down here again? <laughs> you're grabbing. You're grab- Really? This is where you're grabbing all the igneous rock from? That's hilarious. I really need you guys to actually finish this just so that you, you stop being dafties. That's the very next thing you should do. Right, I've just got one pipe segment left. Who's coming to do this? There he is. Charles Darwin in the flesh. Also, I forgot to build a wire here. That's fine. Yay. There we go. So now the loop is complete. So now all the hydrogen, yeah, now all the hydrogen is flowing correctly. That's good. So yeah, this should be enough to fill up the pipe. Good. Yeah, and then this will come down here. That's all good. And then we can... Uh, Deconstruct this bridge. That's nice. And in terms of the remaining hydrogen, there is still a top layer in here, which is good. That's what we want. And this hydrogen is still being pumped out. Nice. We'll want to, uh, we will want to fill this with some hydrogen as well for the Drecos. Uh, no farters, so I guess security time. And, uh...
Oh my god. So, I just realized what the problem is. The problem is not that the area is too hot. The area is too cold. And we built a cooling loop for it. We... <laughs> I mean, I don't want to build a heating loop because eventually the Drekos will generate a lot of heat. But now we need to actually heat this area up so that uh, we can distribute the heat. Oh, God. Why did I... <laughs> like, we'll need this eventually, but we really didn't need this now. Like, what we needed to do now is just dump some, like, gold temperature plates in here. Well, whatever. I think I'm going to wrap it up now. We're, uh, we're... We've done some stuff today. I've got to get to bed. Uh, but we have expanded the base out a little bit more. Um, starting to feel a bit more complete here. Um, not really sure what the next... Uh, not really sure what the video thumbnail will be. But uh, it's been nice just hanging out. Uh, if you're still here for the raids earlier, thank you uh, very much uh, for sticking around. I do usually stream on Mondays and Fridays, 7.30 till 10.30 GMT-ish. I was a bit late today. Um... We usually play Oxygen Not Included, but we do occasionally play other games. We're also playing a Dyson Sphere program at the moment. So uh, that's been a lot of fun, and I've quite enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, let's head on over and raid someone else. So let's see. Who is available? I haven't played the song yet on my player, so now there's some new songs. Uh, Right, let's see. I have action pixels on. I rated them fairly recently. Let's have a look. Keys. Not exactly sure what you rate. You know what, sort of, I'm going to raid live action pixel again. They're also playing auction included as well. They're a lot of fun. Um, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Um, I I did actually upload a uh, discussion video to my YouTube channel recently about the different uh, asteroid uh, cluster starts. Um, and it's been a while since I've done a discussion video over there and I've enjoyed recording one again. I'm going to try and do more of them. And I'm just trying to, I'm finding it a bit hard fitting them into my schedule in real life. But uh, yeah, um, hoping to post more of that sort of content because so, uh, you guys seem to like that a lot and seems to bring a lot of people to the Twitch channel. Yes. Let's go raid live action pixel. You have the fish. Um, I think Leofar tried using the fish a while ago and it didn't work. I'm not really sure why, but uh, if you have any fish, feel free to send them to him. Yeah, we're going to go in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bye for now.